to another day's journey. I don't know what's going on with these mics. They, they don't want to work, but guess what? We can't worry about that. I'm still. What's the acronym? I'm still. Another day is Germany, but I'm still. Something above me won't it's just like a fire. And I can't hold my peace. I like it. I'm like Dr. Evans. Dr. Evans, it's all it's all I feel good, I'm messed up. God, the Holy Spirit, will get you in a point where you just want to. Bring it among us. Uh, this return in time, the big God. Uh, 
But for some reason, uh, the Israelites were thoroughly beaten, and the ark that they had cherished, uh, it was taken uh, as far as a war. Uh, when the Philistines had beaten the Israelites in battle, uh, captured their most prized possession, the ark. Uh, the Philistines, they boasted in glory, uh, glory as Though they had defeated God himself, uh, they, 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 they were jumping, they were rejoicing that they had defeated God. Uh, what you got to understand, this touch, uh, them doing this, this touch at once the honor of God. Uh, and because of who God is, somebody asked who is God? Uh, uh, God is a jealous God, huh? and because he is a jealous God, uh, this really bodes good for Israel. Uh, the fact that God is jealous, many times he often have a bad side to us. Uh, what you mean? Because uh, he is jealous, huh? and we get on the gods. It leads to our chastisement when we grieve him. This indeed led to the defeat of Israel, uh, but it is also a bright side toward us. Uh, how, how can that be? How can that be? His jealous flame uh, against his foes, which are my foes, uh, are even more terrible than against his friends. Uh, he may spank you and I, but guess what? He'll show up with a whooping on his enemies. Uh, so you and I, we should never forget for a moment to put anything uh, before the Lord. Uh, when we place things on the same level as God, uh, uh, they can't help but to fall. <clears throat> Much like the Philistines, when they captured the ark of God uh, and placed it alongside their God, they gone. Uh, upon putting the ark in with their God, uh, they felt like it was another promised possession a trophy to brag about. Uh, oh, you, 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 you know how it is, uh, Taylor. Uh, uh, well, uh, you know how we do. Uh, we get a new car, a new home, a few more dollars. Uh, and we now want to brag about what we have done. Uh, huh? We forgot, we forget uh, that God has made all things possible. Uh, and those items in our mind. Uh, now rises to the level of God. Uh, that's what happens with the Philistine. Uh, they think that God is just as important as God is. Uh, so here we see that the Philistines uh, proudly place the ark uh, in the same room as their God. Uh, what a shock, what a shock they have early the next morning. Uh, when the people arrive to praise and worship their God. Uh, uh, worship their God for the victory that it had given them uh, over Israel. Uh, there, there, in its own temple, in its own house. Uh, there, their God lies prostrate uh, in the dirt uh, before the ark of God. It's falling down. Uh, uh, it's falling down. Uh, imagine the excuses uh, and the explanation made in defense of their God. Uh, they begin to look at one another. Were you in charge? Uh, what, how come our God is falling? Uh, was he not secured? Uh, uh, think about it. This is, you worship a God that you got to pick up. Uh, you worship a God that's going to take care of you, but yet you take care of it. Uh, 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 so, it couldn't just help fail. Uh, could have been an earthquake? Something should it? Uh, uh, whatever the reason, one can be sure that they said it won't happen again. Uh, it won't happen again. Uh, so they pick up their God. Uh, and they securely anchor it in the house. Uh, that's the last thing the Philistine priests do before leaving for the day. Mm. 
There will be no falling on his face. Uh, hmm? That's for sure, because we got it anchored. Hmm? But and the next morning, the next morning, the day after, uh, an even larger than usual group, uh, they come again to the house of their God. Uh, uh, do, 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 the Philistines want to convince themselves uh, that the previous morning was some kind of fluke, uh, 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 an accident. Uh, but when, when, when they arrive, Brother Jim, early the next morning, huh? Things are even worse uh, than the previous day. Huh? I heard people say, bad day. Mm -hmm. I had a bad day. Huh? Taylor, Taylor, let me correct you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, is there any such thing as a bad day? And what you just got to say, I'm still here. I'm still here means that I've been through something, but I'm still here. Uh, uh, it's like a such thing as a bad day. Uh, uh, I, I just don't believe it is. Uh, because somebody said that every day uh, is a day of Thanksgiving. Uh, and so you should glorify the Lord when? Today, today, today. Uh, uh, Thursday and so uh, uh, if you uh, you could say it was a bad day, you could say that. Huh? But in reality, was it? You was alive. Huh? The weather wasn't to your liking. Huh? Huh? But you still every day that you wake up is a good day. Uh, situations may not be to your liking, uh, but it's a good day. It's a good day for you to get it right. Uh, it's a good day to be alive. Uh, uh, uh. So here we see. Here we see. They come back and it's uh, things are worse than the day before. Uh, they go on the first day and just follow. Uh, mm -hmm. But this time, he didn't fall, he didn't fell again. Uh, but something different, though. On the first day, uh, so sadly, he just fell. Uh, but on the second day, uh, his hands, his head, uh, uh, it broke it off. Uh, 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 as it has struck the ground. Uh, as a, he has fallen and he can't get up. Uh, his hands are broken off. His head is broken off from the rest of his body. Uh, do the Philistines still think the God of Israel is in their hands? Uh, the hands of their God, huh, their God, huh, are in the dirt as well as his head. Huh. The ark of God huh, may be in the Philistines' hand, but the God of the Philistines is in the hands of the only true God, the God of Israel. I wonder, did you catch that now? Hmm? Huh? The Philistine God huh, has twice fallen before the ark of God, huh, and the second time it is broken upon the impact, huh, requiring repairs. <laughs> The Philistine God falls before the ark of God uh, and then has to go back to the shop for repairs. Uh, what, what, what should this tell the Philistine? Hmm? Hmm? Does a real God have to be picked up off the ground? Uh, does a real God fall apart? Uh, does a real God have to be glued back together? Uh, if these pagan priests are thinking properly, they will see that Dagon's image huh, belongs on the scrap heap of the city dump. Hmm? What kind of God has to be set upright huh, by the subjects huh, and carried off for repair because it is broken? Huh? 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 What should we learn from this? Well, uh, <laughs> that no matter how much you achieve, huh, God is still in control. Uh, I preached years ago a sermon titled Too Big for Your Britches. Many of you have heard the words come from the lips of mamas and daddies. Uh, 
What I mean in essence, you have forgotten who you are. You're trying to take credit for something you do not control. Uh, here, the Philistines have taken the prized possession of Israel. They boast about it as if God was taken by surprise by that. Uh, you may not know it. Uh, God is not surprised by circumstances that we may be, but God is not. Uh, uh, when, 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 when Eli, the prophet, heard about uh, the ark uh, being taken, huh? He fell backwards off his chair, broke his neck when he heard the news. Uh, his daughter-in-law, uh, when she heard the news, huh? She went into premature labor and died in childbirth. Uh, the whole nation was in sudden grief and mourning at the capture of the ark. Uh, but yet, 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 this was all part of God's plan to discipline the Israelites for their sin uh, and to demonstrate his power to the Philistine. It looks like, huh? It looks like God people have lost and God enemies have won. Uh, but that was not the case at all. Uh, this is important for us to remember. Uh, Anytime you face a setback in life, you need to remember God is still huh, in control. Uh, he is the Lord of all the earth. God is not surprised by your circumstances. Uh, but we begin to do a little better in life. Uh, far too many of us forget who is the reason for our success. Uh, we boast about who we are and what we have and what we have accomplished. Uh, what happens, uh, we begin to compete with God. Uh, we think we have all the answers, uh, and we are just as big and powerful as he is. Uh, we refuse to give him his rightful place in our lives, and we strut like a peacock all over the place. Uh, 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 let me say this, let me say this here. Uh, uh, some people this Christmas, uh, they bought stuff that costs more than they have given to the church uh, all year long. Uh, 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 um, some think they can go head to head with God and win. Uh, God is not afraid of you. God is not threatened by your competition. Uh, when the Philistine first brought their ark to the city of Ashdod, put it into the temple of their God, Dagon, uh, they thought they had Israel going beat. Uh, to capture any enemy God was to conquer him. Uh, so putting the ark of Dagon's uh, uh, ark in Dagon's temple was a sign of conquest to them. Uh, to the Philistines, it meant that their God was superior to Yahweh. Uh, the statue of their God, Dagon, stands there towering over his pedestal, over this little puny ark. Uh, now, when Israel God would be forced to serve Dagon, the God of the Philistines. Uh, so, who was this Dagon? Uh, Dagon was a well known idol God in the Old Testament times. Uh, some considered him to be the father of Baal, another famous Canaanite God. Uh, in the book of Judges, uh, when the Philistine conquered Samson, uh, we read that the rulers of the Philistine. Uh, Assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their God and to celebrate, saying, Our God huh, have delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. Uh, but you know what, Taylor? Uh, as I said before, God is not threatened by competition. Uh, the idols of the world are nothing to him. Uh, First Corinthians 84 said, We know that an idol is nothing at all in the world. Uh, and that there is no God but one. Uh, God was a spirit uh, uh, when the ark was put into the temple with Dagon. Uh, God is the Lord of all earth and he's not threatened uh, by you and I. Uh, God has a way of getting our real attention. Uh, he is able to bring us down off of that high horse. Uh, God is able to knock you down and you will stay down. Uh, uh, God will judge all those who stand against him. Uh, if 
your Bible reading, you might remember Hannah's song from earlier in the first book of Samuel. She closed out that song by saying, those who oppose the Lord will be shattered. He will come up against them from heaven. The Lord will judge the end of the earth. And so we see God judging the Philistines for their arrogance. By beginning to send palaces, uh, tumors among them. Uh, and the Philistine leaders uh, proposed a test. Uh, let's see if this is God. Uh, they moved the ark from where it was to get uh, to see if that would stop the tumors. Uh, but it only made things worse. Uh, the city of Gath was thrown into a great panic. Now both young and old were afflicted with the tumors. So they sent them, wait a minute, get it out of here, get it out of here. So they sent the ark of God to Ekron. Now, as the ark of God was in an Ekron, the people were grinning to cry. They have brought the ark of God of Israel around to kill us and our people. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and said, this is what you need to do. Send the ark of God of Israel away. <laughs> Let it go back to its own place or it will kill all of us and our people. For death has filled the city with panic. God's hand was very heavy upon them. At prime people started dying from the plague. So now the people were desperate. Uh, they were no longer asking, what shall we do? Uh, but rather uh, saying, send it away. Uh, uh, get the ark out of here. Uh, send it back to its own place before it kills us all. Uh, the book of Hebrews, uh, see we forget, huh? It says, uh, in Hebrews, I believe 10, it's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Uh, for God will judge those who stand against him. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, these people have fallen and could not get up. Uh, it was only when they acknowledged that God was greater than their God uh, that they began to rise again. Uh, Taylor, let me ask you, what shall it profit a man uh, to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Uh, we need to understand that God is not mocked. Uh, God will do whatever he needs to do to protect his name. Uh, you and I must respect him or face the consequences. Uh, it may seem as if Satan is winning right now. Huh? But, 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 but know this. Uh, stick with God and you will be all right. Uh, quit trying to compete with him uh, and allow him to lead and guide you. Uh, you do know God is able uh, to provide everything you need. Uh, anybody here know that God will lift you up uh, and keep you there? Uh, or God will allow you to be knocked down and keep you there uh, until you change your way, uh, your attitude. Do anybody here know that? Uh, God, God should never have to remind us, his children, uh, who he or what he has done for us. Uh, we should never forget who brought us, uh, who is what keeping us. Uh, many of us uh, sitting here this morning, uh, we're seeing things we thought uh, was long past. Uh, we see our children being killed. Uh, we see games we made in the 60s uh, being pushed back. Uh, we see racism, uh, bigotry, dysfunction of the government. Uh, and I could go on a slew of other things rearing its head. Uh, and even the yet, uh, the people of God, too many of us, uh, we continue to ignore God's plea uh, for returning to the one who has brought us and kept us up. Uh, church table. Uh, we need Jesus and not tomorrow. Uh, somebody said I need him. Uh, right now. Uh, we have become too proud. Uh, or where we are. Uh, too many have begun to try to take credit uh, for what God has done for us. Uh, we too have become fools. Uh, just like the man who God blessed with 
from the bottom of the cross. Oh, he tore down uh, his small walls, uh, built a larger wall, uh, and filled them all. Oh, he boasted about how he was set for life, uh, how he could sit back, uh, uh, relax, uh, and take it easy. Uh, uh, God looked at him, uh, and God called him a fool. Uh, 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 for God told him, this night, uh, not tomorrow, but this night ye shall die. Uh, and who then would all the crops uh, belong to? I, I need to get on out of here. I need to get on out of here. Uh, Taylor, uh, you need to be careful. Uh, some, some of us have forgotten uh, who has brought us uh, where we are. Uh, some are doing some things uh, that they once uh, did not do. Uh, some, some are forgetting uh, who means more. Uh, some uh, are being fools. Uh, some uh, are placing other things uh, above God. Uh, if God uh, had brought you Jesus 
Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead. 